Hello. As Acadia's 16th President and Vice-Chancellor, I wanted to take a moment to update you on our five-year strategic plan, Acadia 2025, Transforming Lives for a Transforming World. Our community has displayed remarkable resilience, innovation and compassion despite the hurdles posed by the pandemic. Our unwavering commitment to our students has enabled us to offer in-person learning throughout the pandemic, making us one of the very few universities in Canada to do so. Thanks to the generosity of our alumni and supporters, we've made significant progress on several essential components of Acadia 2025, including our largest and most successful fundraising campaign to date, Campaign for Acadia. We've also invested in infrastructure improvements, a comprehensive enrollment and retention strategy, and initiatives to build equity, diversity, and inclusion. We're proud to have been the first university in Canada to sign the UN Sustainable Development Goals Accord and to be deemed the first organic campus in Canada. We've also participated in the virtual Oceans Pavilion at the UN COP26 and 27 climate change meetings. We continue to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and our consumption of energy and water and are working towards making Acadia a net zero campus. Through unique MOUs, we've strengthened our relationships with First Nations and African Nova Scotian partners and substantially increased on-campus care for students and opportunities to learn about and support their cultures. We have a distinctive MOU with the Town of Wolfville and the Acadia Students' Union. We partnered to test wastewater during the pandemic and offered community vaccination and testing sites. We're also collaborating on various community building projects, the Community Harmony Program, shared facilities and programs, and a Welcome to Wolfville Street Fair. Since launching Acadia 2025, We've secured two Canada Research Chairs and climbed in rank among the top 50 research universities in Canada for corporate research income, leading the undergraduate category in a number of areas. We've expanded staffing for student support and wellness. We've appointed a new Vice President Advancement and created a new senior position of Vice Provost of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion. And we have increased diversity in our hiring and will soon welcome our first cluster hire of Indigenous and Black faculty to ensure that all students feel represented in the Academy. We've successfully launched several new programs, including the Jaroslawski Chair in Trust and Political Leadership, a BA in Law and Society, the Professional Certificate in Maritime Security, and several new graduate programs. And in September 2023, we will welcome the first students in our new Bachelor of Science in Nursing program in partnership with Cape Breton University. Education is a powerful agent of change, and Acadia 2025 has given us the chance to explore new ways of providing a transformative education for the 21st century. Thank you for your support and your dedication to Acadia University. It's been a privilege and an honor serving as your President and Vice-Chancellor during these unprecedented times as we transform lives for a transforming world.